Hi, everyone. My name is Lania Tawanganivalu. I am a current senior at Cal U. And in this presentation, I will be talking about the dopamine receptor DRD4 promiscuous gene. So in this study, or in this presentation, I will be exploring the newly found gene, which is associated with promiscuity behavior, um, which is, you know, being cheating in a relationship, being unfaithful, and I also assessed its correlation. Um, I will identify the gene and its location on this specific chromosome, and along with genetics, um, I've also included external factors um, that were considered to evaluate its characteristics and determine um, its changes. The process of how this gene yields promiscuous behavior was also added for in-depth understanding. And um, its neurotransmitters work systemically to produce this behavior. Now, the significance of this behavior is implemented to statistically display how it has evolved within humans and um, the accuracy of how the experiment uh, is viable um, as far as continuing research on it. So promiscuity is a behavior that has been displayed amongst humans and animals that results in the acquiring of multiple mates. Um, it's a term that's usually limited to the act of sexual encounters um, that occurs at most time without the partner's knowledge. For many years, it has been thought to be at the discretion of the individuals of how this behavior is expressed within humans, but new findings have suggested that um, our genes can actually encode for this type of behavior. Um, research has found a specific gene located at the telomere of chromosome 11P to be the culprit of this behavior. Um, the effects of this gene's function directly correlates to the release and, su and suppression of the dopamine neurotransmitter, which limits the production of oxytocin. So in figure one, I included um, just a diagram of the DRD4 gene and oxytocin, which are the two uh, main subjects that I will be talking about through this presentation. Um, for biological factors, the dopamine receptor D4 is a protein coding gene that plays an important role in modulating behavior. Um, so it has found to be specifically within the varial tandem repeats um, polymorphism in axon three of the gene. The gene is associated with environmental factors such as risk taking, um, parenting, and also, it has been found to predict sensation seeking in children. The process of this um, behavior coming about um, is that the dopamine receptor D4 is responsible for neuron signaling in the mesolimbic system of the brain. The DRD4 gene has variations, um, like I said, within a specific location that reduces dopamine binding um, and then which alters human emotion. So the binding of dopamine generates oxytocin, which is known as the love hormone. So um, actions such as being affection and um, feelings that bring about that lovey-dovey feeling that is brought on by oxytocin. So when um, Dopamine binding is reduced, oxytocin is also reduced, um, and it decreases in production, which therefore leaves the individual in want of more love and affection. The uh, effects of external effects, such as stress and frustration, also results in the reduction of oxytocin. So most times, um, just the overwhelming feeling of being more stressed can lower dopamine binding, um, which therefore also um, lowers production of oxytocin. So in figure two, I have um, included a diagram of exactly how the DRD4 gene um, binds, how the neurotransmitter binds, um, which produces oxytocin. 
Um, the significance of this is that the DR, um, that individuals with the DRD4 gene tend to be more promiscuous. So 50% of the people with the gene have been unfaithful, 24% are women and 26% are men. The DRD4 gene is associated as well with ADHD and the location um, for this lies at the same tandem repeats of axon three, which is where, um, which is where this uh, behavior is said to have um, been derived from. Um, so in conclusion, the dopamine receptor D4 has been proved to be linked to uh, promis uh, promiscuous behavior um, among humans. The in uh, insufficient dopamine binding leads to low levels of oxytocin, uh, which increase the want for more affection and love. And science has proven that individuals uh, who have expressed this behavior, 50% um, of them do um, encode for the, their genes. Um, I'm sorry, their, um, the specific location of their gene does encode um, this variation. Uh, because this finding is relatively recent, it may take some time for this to get fully validated and accepted within the scientific community, but breakthrough of this finding does suggest that essentially all human behaviors can be linked back to um, genetics. So at some point, there may be more discoveries in the future, but ultimately, human behavior can be linked to genet genetics and should not be limited only to the individual, although it should also take responsibility for it as well. Um, so thank you for sitting through my presentation and um, I hope you enjoy it.